Hi everyone, it's John from What Up, and welcome back to another video, and happy Wheel of Time Wednesday. I'm pretty excited, and you folks should be too, because our friends over at WattSeries.com released some information on the Gallanter Can Audition Tapes. Now, for those of you who are new to the channel, maybe you don't know what we do here. We cover Wheel of Time show news, but you probably also don't know my favorite character in the Wheel of Time series is Gallanter Can. Now, at this point, you're probably asking yourselves, why, John? Why do you like Gallant so much? And I would tell you, but we don't have that much time today. I've done a couple of other videos on that in the past, and I plan on doing an updated one soon and why he's my favorite character, but it takes a while to explain, and people generally don't believe you. I actually have uh, a Gallant Can tattoo as well, and we'll show that during the video at some point or another. But um, it's pretty exciting because it gives us some insight into what they're doing during Season 2, how Gallant will be uh, introduced, and the fact that Gallant and his brother Galad are both in the second season, and they haven't been cut or merged. So, before we get into the video, I do have to give a small spoiler warning. Spoiler warning! In this video, we're talking about certain elements of Season 2 of Sony and Amazon's Wheel of Time show. If you haven't read the first three books of Robert Jordan's The Wheel of Time series, that's The Eye of the World, The Great Hunt, and The Dragon Reborn, as well as watch the entire first season of the Sony and Amazon show, The Wheel of Time, before warned, I'm going to ruin plot points and character arcs from all of that. Alright, that being said, let's get on to the video. All right, so we're going to talk about a couple of different scenes that WattSeries.com was able to get a hold of for Gallant Tricand editions. Now, I've left a link to that article down below in the description box. Like I said earlier, please, 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 at the end of the video, click the article, go on over, uh, check them out, read the article, comment on it, share it around to your friends and family, follow them on social media. I've left their social media down below down too. Um, because, let's face it, every single Wednesday when we don't get news, they're releasing an article for us. So if we don't get anything official, which we really haven't been lately, WattSeries.com has us covered, and we're getting all kinds of great stuff from them. So that's absolutely fantastic. In fact, I had another news video I was in the middle of doing when they dropped this article, and I just dropped that news video completely, and I jumped over here to make make a video about Gowan, because it's, it's Gowan, of course. Um, at this point, you're probably wondering who this gentleman I have on screen here this is. That's Jay Duffy. Uh, he's an actor who I've speculated is playing Gowan Tracan. Now, a few months ago, well, maybe, maybe a month, month and a half ago, WattSeries.com did an article on a bunch of different actors and actresses that they believe are involved in the show, although there's no official confirmation. They haven't been wrong yet. Um, and there's a lot of very circumstantial evidence that puts them on set at the right times, friends with the right people, following the right people on social media. Um, and it's happened before when they've released names and whatnot of different actors and actresses like Avienda, uh, Aeola Smart, um, and that she actually was playing Avienda. And the fandom kind of guessed it, and then the Rafe Judkins released her casting. So he's my pick for Gallant Tracand of everybody we've seen so far, but take that with a giant grain of salt because we really don't know if Jay is going to be playing Gowan. Uh, but it's nice to put a face with a name, at least for the context of this video anyway. Although if we do get an actor cast in the role in the next coming months, we'll, we'll certainly change that. All right, now we're going to talk just a little bit about these two scenes. All right, so we have two different scenes we're going to go through here today. Um, but before I get into them, I'm going to read them off for you folks that are just listening. Maybe you're puttering around the house and doing dishes or, or other things or in your vehicle. Uh, and you're not actually watching, uh, so don't worry about that. Um, and then I'll do some speculation on how they're going to fit into the second season if they're there. Now... One thing I do want to mention before we get into this is that we had a few addition scenes for season one. Now, when we actually seen the first season, I could pick out where those addition scenes were, and a lot of the dialogue was very similar, if not completely the same. So it was a big shock to us when that happened, because I assume they're using fake fake scripts, uh, just made up things to audition for the roles, and when in fact that was not the case. Um, are they going to do the same thing for season two? Here's where it gets a little iffy, because... Just because they did it for season one doesn't mean they're going to do it for season two. And in fact, it probably means they're not going to do it for season two just because at this point they probably learned from their mistake because people get a hold of these things, it happens, and we do a lot of speculation and it gives some things away. So we're going to go under the assumption that these might be in the show, but I'm not 100% on that at all. I, I'd say I'm 50-50 at this point because I would like to think that they've changed that and we're not going to see these scenes word for word in the show. So there's that. Um, now, where do these scenes come from? Now, when an actor and actress auditions for a role, they usually do a self-tape. They self-tape the scenes and they send them in. Uh, whether they get the role or not, they still have those, those self-tapes to use to sell themselves, showcase their talents, and sometimes they post them on different sites, uh, post them just on the internet in general, and WattSeries.com is able to find them. And uh, just from the taglines and different things that are put into the video itself, you know they're for the Wheel of Time, you know they're for Sony and Amazon, you know they're for certain characters, so there's that. 
All right. Uh, so this very first scene that we're talking about here, WattSeries.com did a couple of different things for us. Now, like in the season one scenes, there were some code names they used during the scenes that uh, meant different things. And it was pretty easy to figure out what they were. Um, so for season one, uh, it was the, the Naga Reborn was the Dragon Reborn, um, things like that. So what WattSeries.com has done here is they've taken those um, very obvious code names out and put in um, what is... What it actually means um, and in this first scene they know gown is speaking to someone but they don't know who and we're going to talk about that when we're done so mystery person says no i'm sorry i told alana nobody younger than me gown says i'm gallon tracant the queen's son gown says i brought you breakfast are these raw all food is until you cook it and one for me if you would mystery person says so you brought me breakfast which i'm cooking for you Gowan says, happy to take over for you at the stove, but your stomach won't be. Palace Cook tried to give me lessons once, but we ended up changing the subject matter. Now, Mr. Person says, I assume there's something else I can do for you this morning. Gowan says, the last time I shot a bow, I put an arrow through our mistress at arms. Mr. Person says, not everyone's a soldier. And Gowan says, well, happily, I'm an excellent swordsman. I came here to be a warder. I'd like your help. Mr. Person laughs. And Gowan says, I know what people see when they look at me. Rich, beautiful, useless idiot. We'll talk about that line too. Mystery person says, are you? Gallon says, I've killed men before. Brigands who tried to kidnap my sister and me, I was 12. Mystery person says, were there, were, where were your guards? Gallon says, they were our guards. Plan was to ransom my sister as heir to the throne. I was disposable, so I fell to my knees, cried, begged, snatched a dagger from one of their belts. Should have expected a little deceit and murder. After all, I am a Damodred. Now, uh, the mystery person says, Damodred, as in Moraine Damodred. Gowan says, the aunt who ruined my life, but that's a story for another day. Maybe I'll bring you dinner to cook us later. So there's a whole lot to unpack here. Um, if this scene is in the show, uh, I would say this is definitely at Tar Valon. Um, there's, there's almost no chance it's anywhere else because we meet Gowan and Galad both in the books uh, at Tar Valon. We meet them first in the first book in Camelin, but we meet them in Tarvalon, uh, where Matt basically beats them senseless with a stick, which is really cool. I can't wait to see that on screen. Um, and the mystery person here, they speculated in the WattSeries.com article that it's uh, Ivan, one of Atlanta's warders, and I, I think I think they're they're probably correct there, mainly because they reference Alana a couple of different times, um, and they reference a bow, and uh, Maxim doesn't seem to use a bow very much in the first season. We don't really see that, but, but the other warder does, so it's probably him. Um, and he's talking about being trained as a warder. So this scene very likely could be a scene from Tarvalon, very likely in the warder uh, yards, because we know that Alana's in Tarvalon at the end of season one. We know that the first couple episodes of season two, at the very least, are picking up in the tower, um, because we know that Elaine Tracan, played by Sierra Coveney, is being introduced in, I believe, the first episode, which is a tower episode. So um, that's my take on this scene. How it fits in, definitely going to be in probably the first or second episode probably going to be in the Tarvalon warder training grounds that's my guess anyway uh, and he's probably talking to one of alana's warders either way now i did mention that i would say uh, i talk a little bit about this line i know what people see when they look at me rich beautiful useless idiot that is 100 fan service most people in the fandom that is exactly how they think of him uh that he's just just a complete and utter moron and i'm not gonna I'm not going to judge. I mean, he's he's not exactly the brightest apple of the bunch, that's for sure. Uh, but uh, that there, 100% that was put in there for fan servers. I'm sure of it, and I love seeing that. All right, so we have a second scene here, too. Uh, and this scene is, again, Gowan and someone else. This mystery person, uh, they don't know who it is. They speculated a couple of different people within um, the article, but they, they, they don't really know, and I myself don't know either. But we're going to try to figure out afterwards. And again, this scene may not be in the show, but if it is, we'll try to figure out where it fits in. So Gowan says, you going to set this place on fire? Mystery person says, no, but like, trust me, I'm not going to let those Trollocs get their hands on any of this. Gowan says, do Trollocs drink? Mystery person says, not concerned about your brother? Gowan says, if he gave a toss about me, he'd be here, wouldn't he? Mystery person says, he'd know you're here in an empty bar in the middle of the morning as the city's preparing to be sacked. Gowan says, you heard the story about Shamay, all right? The last dragon's best friend? Mystery person says, everyone knows that story. Gowan says, my mom used to always used to tell it to me over and over ever since I was tiny. She talks about the other Forsaken sometimes, but Ashamael, that was the one she thought I needed to know. She said, some men are just born weak. They got something broken inside of them. And the day the last dragon went to face the boar, 
when he needed his best friend the most, Shamael sold him out to the Dark One himself. Everyone always says it was for more power, but my mom, she said it wasn't that. She said it was because Shamael was one of those men who needed others to be weak, to make himself feel strong. And I was too. Mystery person says, is she right? Gallant says, save that last one for me, will you? And this is pretty neat. So this is obviously... Um, there's, a, there's a couple different things it tells us here. So if this is a, a true scene from the second season, it tells us that Gowan and Gladder will be two separate characters and they will not be amalgamated. Now, I've been told that a couple of different times by different people who should know um, off the record, but this could possibly confirm that, which is really very neat. Uh, the second thing is, is this mystery person, they're in a bar in a, a town that's waiting to be sieged by the Dark One's minions. So we're talking about Trollocs and Fades. Um, that really doesn't fit anywhere that I can think of for what should be in the second season. Um, so I can't think of a single town or city that is besieged by uh, Trollocs and Fades that would be in The Great Hunt or The Dragon Reborn in those books um, that they know about anyway, that they're waiting for a siege. So that's that's a hard one. My thoughts are that perhaps, perhaps the coup in the tower uh, isn't so much a coup as an attack on Tarvalon itself by the Dark One's minions, um, and they get through and they break in, and that's part of the reason how Swan loses the Emerald Seed. She's not deposed by Elida. She's she just loses the Emerald Seed because the, the city's attacked. Perhaps she's killed. Perhaps she escapes with um, Liana and Min. I don't know. Maybe maybe that's what happens, and then then they put uh, Elida in. As the Emerald Seat, that's that's entirely possible. Um, who knows? That's my guess anyway. That this could be Tarvalon. Now there are a couple of other guesses here, and you got to remember that they only did a few locations in the first season, so they're probably only going to do a few locations in the second season. Tarvalon for sure, Falme for sure. Um, other places, my guess is we may see Tyr, uh, we may see Kyrian. I have no idea. Uh, is Kyrian a good? example of a, a city that's going to be besieged by Trollocs? Probably not, unless the story changes a whole lot. And I don't think we're going to see Kyrian realistically. It'll probably be subbed for another city because it's a very small part of the plot line for the Great Hunt. So we're probably only going to see, you know, maybe another city or two subbed in there instead. Could it be Tyr? Absolutely. Maybe Rand makes his way to Tyr to, to pull Kalindor from the stone while everyone else is going to Falme. Um, that's a possibility. Maybe Tyr becomes besieged by Trollocs afterwards, or they're waiting for them to come. Or perhaps this is Falme, and it's not just White Cloaks and Shan Chan. Maybe we're also seeing Trollocs and the Dark One's forces there as well, um, which that's a pretty good guess for uh, as well, at least on my part. Um, so my money is either on Tarvalon being besieged, and that takes place of the coup, or it's Falme we're talking about here, one of the two. Now, this mystery person, who could they be? Well, there's a whole lot of guesses here, but they are in a bar, they're in the morning, and they're drinking. So, Matt? That's 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 my main guess. Matt, possibly Tom. They're the two guesses that I would have that he's talking to here. Now, do we know 100%? No, but those are my guesses. So, we've gone through the two scenes. We've talked a little bit about... Uh, down. We've talked about how he's my favorite character. We're not going to talk about why. I don't have the next half hour to give you folks for that, unfortunately. But I did promise to show you my tattoo, and I've shown it in a few different videos. So there it is there. Get the little heart next to the Black Mage from Final Fantasy. It says Gowan in it. Um, my wife thought that was absolutely hilarious, by the way, just so you know. Um, <laughs> and I have promised to get a couple other Gowan tattoos at some point or another once the actor is revealed, and I can better tweak them to figure out how they're going to fit in um, and what I want to do for them. So let me know what you folks think in the comments down below. Do you think, first off, do you think these scenes are going to show up word for word in the second season, kind of like the scenes were in the first season? Or do you think that maybe they've changed that and they're going to go with something a little bit different? Who do you think the mystery person is, is it in the first scene? Do you think it's Alana's Warder? Do you think it's perhaps someone else? I have no idea. Um, and in the second scene, who do you think the mystery person is and where do you think this is? Now, the first scene, we're pretty sure it's Tarvalon because they're talking about coming to Tarvalon to be a warder. But the second scene, that's... It's got some question marks around it. Let me know in the comments down below what you folks think, how that's going to fit in, and where they're at. Thank you so much for sticking with me here to the very end. Here's to many more.